opening this tweet might actually crash your browser. Here is 24,000 crab emojis on a tweet. Uh, when I click the tweet, my entire browser freezes. And after literally 4.5 seconds of load time, the thing finally responds. This is crazy. Let's take a look at why. This is a flame graph, which is a graphical representation of all the functions and the amount of time it takes. I'm using the Chrome DevTools performance profiler to get this information. Here, you can see the click took nearly 900 milliseconds to run. Um, let's take a look at why. What happens is when I click the tweet, the response comes back with the tweet data. Then Twitter internally uses a state management library called Redux, dispatches the action, and causes mounting to occur. Basically, React renders all the components and then mutates the DOM with the necessary changes for it to occur. But since there's literally 24,000 crafts, it's going to take a while. Here it takes around 500 milliseconds according to my measurements. Then Redux will notify its subscribers, and then suddenly it causes another 400 milliseconds to re React renders. And this is somewhat suspicious because there's some interesting forced uh, layout layouts that are occurring that um, Twitter might be interested in looking into. Um, the way to fix this is with virtualization. Over 90% of the elements from the crabs aren't actually being rendered, which means you don't actually need to render or mount any of the elements that are not being seen. Um, the technique we can use is called virtualization. Basically, any elements that are not visible or not on the page can be not rendered at all, and the ones that are can be rendered within this view box. Um, two libraries I recommend to check out are Tanstack Virtual and Virtua. Hope you learned something. It's still so funny to me that 24,000 crabs is all you need to lag Twitter out.